Ang susunod na programa ay pwede sa lahat ng manunood. Ito ay mga impormasyon na maaaring magpaliwanag o magbigay ng linaw sa inyong mga katanungan. Episode 2, Egyptian Architecture From 5,000 before Christ to 1st century AD Egypt's Geographical Influence 1. Egypt, known as the land of Pharaoh in the desert land. Their greatest wealth was its fertile soil, Nile River. It is the Egypt's means of communication, highway, and lifeline. Geological Influence 1. Stone, it is the abundant building material except on temples and pyramids. 2. Soft stone are the limestone, sandstone, and alabaster. 3. Hard stone are the granite, Quartzite, basalt, and porphyry. 4. Sun dried bricks. It is made up of clay and chopped stones for pyramids and temples. Egyptians use acacia for their boats. Egyptians use sycamore for the mummy cases. Climate influence. Structures in Egypt have no downspout, drainage, and gutters due to the absence of rain. Egyptian structures have no window to cut heat penetration. Religious influence. 1. Pyramids were built because they believe in life after death and for the preservation of the dead body. 2. Pharaoh is not only a king but also a god. 3. Pharaoh becomes Osiris after death that means god of death. Social and political influence 1. Monarchy. It is their form of government. 2. Pharaoh. It is their king, their ruler, and their highest priest in Egypt. 3. Horus. He is the son of Osiris and the normal successor to the throne. 4. Vizier. He is the king's most powerful official. 5. Chancellor. He controls the royal treasuries, granaries, and supervises the census. 6. Chief Steward. He is in charge of the king's personal estate and household. Egyptian architectural character. 1. Simplicity. 2. Monumentality. 3. Solidity or massiveness. Systems of construction. Egyptians commonly used post and lintel or also known as columnar and trabeated. Features of Egyptian architecture. 1. Battered wall. It is the inclination from base to top. 2. Hieroglyphics. It is used as ornaments, pictures, and writings from the wall. Historical influence. During the 1st to 10th dynasty, which is called the Ancient Kingdom, it is the development of two types of tomb, which is the Mastaba and Pyramid. Next, 11th to 17th dynasty, which is the Middle Kingdom. There are three important personalities during this period. The first is Mentuhetep II. He developed the third type of rock-cut tomb. Rock-cut tomb is a burial chamber that is cut into existing, naturally occurring rock formation. Tenusrits the first. He erected the earliest known obelisk at Heliopolis in the year circa 1971 to 1926 before Common Era. Amenemhat the first. He founded the great temple of Amon Karnak in Thebes, which is the grandest of all temples, and was built from 12th dynasty to Ptolemaic period. 18th to 30th dynasty. There are also important personalities in this period. Thotmes the first. He began the additions to the great temple of Amon Karnak in Thebes. Hatshepsut. She is the queen of Egypt and was famous for her funerary temple at Mount Ker el Bahari. The one responsible for cleaning away sand on the Avenue of Sphinx was Thotmes IV. Amenhotep was the architect of Colossi of Memnon. The Colossi of Memnon are two massive stone statues of Pharaoh Amenhotep III. It is also one of the wonders of the world. Seti I, he began the construction of Great Hypostyle Hall at Amon Karnak. Ramses II finished the construction of Great Hypostyle Hall. Ramses II was also the responsible for the rock temple of Abu Simbel. Ptolemaic period important personality. Ptolemy II built the pharaoh's lighthouse, while for the greatest seraphim of Alexandria was Ptolemy III. Examples of Egyptian architecture Three types of tomb Mastaba Mastaba are tomb houses that were made to take the body at full length. Stel or upright stone slab containing the name of the dead found in the Mastaba. Parts of Mastaba Number 1. Altar chamber is where offerings are placed. 2. Serdab is an inner chamber containing the statues of the deceased member of the family. 3. Sarcophagus. It is a chamber containing the coffin reached by an underground shaft. An example of Mastaba is the Mastaba of Phi. Phi is a royal architect and superintendent. The second type of tomb are pyramids. Pyramids evolved from Mastaba with four sides facing the cardinal points. They were made by 100,000 men for 100 years. The first example is the Pyramid of Kings Zozer or Iser, which is a step pyramid built by Imhotep. It is located at Al Giza Desert, Giza, Governorate, Egypt, and it is the oldest surviving masonry building structure in the world. The second example of pyramid is the Pyramid of Seneferu, which is a belt pyramid located at Al Giza Desert, Giza, Governorate, Egypt. It has a slope of 2 degrees of inclination. The third example of pyramid is the Great Pyramids of Giza, which is a slope pyramid located at Giza Necropolis, and it is equated to the size of St. Peter's Rome. The Pyramid of Giza contains three slope pyramids. 
The first is the Pyramid of Cheops or Khufu, which is the biggest and two times the area of the most famous St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Its height is 146.4 meters. The second pyramid of Giza is the Pyramid of Cheops or Khafra or Chephren. It is the second largest of the three pyramids of Giza and its height is 143 meters. The third pyramid is the Pyramid of Menkaura or called Mykerinos. It is the smallest pyramid among the three pyramids and it has a height of 109 meters. The following are the parts of a pyramid. 1. Elevated Causeway 2. Offering Chapel 3. Mortuary 4. Valid Building The third type of tomb is the Rock Cut Tomb or Rock Hon Tomb. It is cut deep into the mountain rock. Its example is the tombs of the kings in Thebes. The second type of Egyptian structure is the temples. There are two types of temples. One, mortuary which is built in honor of the pharaohs and number two, cult which is built for the worship of gods and only high priests can enter in both types of temple. Please take note that Egyptian architecture was designed principally for internal effect. Parts of an Egyptian temple. Pylon is a massive sloping towers fronted by an obelisk known as gateways in Egypt. Hypathral Court is a large outer court open to the sky. Hippostyle Hall is a pillared hall in which the roof rests on column. Sanctuary is surrounded by passages and chambers used in connection with the temple service. Avenue of Sphinx is where mystical monsters are placed. Examples of Egyptian Temples 1. Great Temple of Abu Simbel The Great Temple of Abu Simbel was approximately founded 1264 before Christ and the builder was Ramses II. The temple is located at Abu Simbel Aswan Governorate, Egypt. It is one of the rock-cut tombs. Its entrance forecourt leads to an imposing facade formed by a pylon carved with four colossal seated statues. 2. Great Temple of Amun Karnak Its builder was Amenemat I and it is located at Prasim of Amun Re and was founded approximately 19th Egyptian dynasty and was the grandest of all temples. 3. Temple of Queen Hatshepsut Its builder was Senemut, located at New Valley Governorate, Egypt, founded approximately 18th Egyptian dynasty and it is dedicated to Queen Hatshepsut. 4. Temple of Elephantine Its builder was Amenemat III and it is located at the island of Elephantine and was founded approximately 536 to 410 before Christ. The temple was destroyed for building material by Turkish governor in 1822. 5. Temple of Hathor Dendera Its builder was Ptolemy IX, located at Kisan Kena, Governorate, Egypt. It is approximately founded 18th dynasty and it is one of the best preserved temple complexes in Egypt. 6. Temple of Horus Edfu Its builder was Imhotep, located at Adfo Edfu as one governorate Egypt. The temple was approximately completed last 57 before Christ, and it is one of the preserved shrines in Egypt. 7. Temple of Isis Philae It was started by Ptolemy II and finished by the Roman emperors located at Aswan I, Egypt. It is approximately started in 690 before Christ. It was built in honor of goddess Isis. 8. Temple of Kons Karnak its builder was Ramses III, located at Luxor, Governorate, Egypt. It is an example of almost complete Egyptian temple. 9. Temple of Luxor Its builder was Amenhotep III and Amenhotep II. It is located at Luxor, Governorate, Egypt, and was founded approximately 1400 before Common Era. It is a large ancient Egyptian temple complex located in the east bank of the Nile River in the city. The third example of Egyptian structures are obelisks. Obelisks are monumental pillars usually in pairs at the temple entrances considered the symbol of the Helipolis, the sun god. They are square in plan and stands at the height of 9 to 10 times the diameter of the base. The four sides tapers to the top on the form of a small pyramid. An example of obelisk is the Cleopatra's needle in the obelisk at Piazza of St. John Laterano, Rome. 4. Sphinxes Andrew's Sphinx is a body of a lion and head of a man. Herald's Sphinx is a body of a lion and a head of a hawk. While Acrius Sphinx has a body of a lion and a head of a ram. 5. Capitals and Columns Examples are A. Bud and Bell Capital B. Polygonal Columns C. Papyrus Capital D. Volute Capital E. Palm Type Capital F. Square Pillars G. Hathor Headed Capital and H. Osiris Pillar 6. Moldings Gorge and hollow moldings are used to cover hollow moldings. Egyptian ornaments has its own meaning. Example is the Lotus and Papyrus palm that represents fertility. The solar disk and vultures with wings represents protection. The spiral and feather ornament represents eternity and the last is the scarab or sacred beetle which represents the resurrection.